Hi, this is Patrick for the CS422 Project 1. Uh, so as you can see here, this is the toaster oven layout that I have. So on the left side right here, you can see that this one's setting the temperature. So you're able to set up the temperature by clicking up on these up arrows. And you can also change between Celsius and Fahrenheit in between. And over here on the second part, you can see this is hours, minutes, and seconds. So you're able to adjust these numbers. So it's two hours and two minutes to cook now. And these are just the typical functions right here. And down here, I've separated the toast and bagel functions because they are basically totally separate from the rest. But you're not able to change these unless you actually select the toast and bagel function. So I select this. They will. I'm able to select this, how dark we want it. But when we turn it on the on the oven, it will actually totally disregard it up here's values and use these values. So on the right side, we have the additional features, which is the extra features. So uh, let me start the oven real quick. So you can see it right here is on, and it actually changed to two hours and two minutes and 221 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want Celsius, we can change that too. See 105 up there as well. And uh, we can actually pause it, and it moves back to room temperature, as you can see. So 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And we could resume and changes back, and the time starts ticking down again. We can also set a delay, but right now we can't because the oven is running. So, but we can actually set the delay time by pausing it, and then we're able to set it in the middle right here. So we can now unpause it and then toggle on the delay, and then you see that we have to wait this long for us to use the oven again. Or we can just toggle it off and it'll start running again. Now there's also a lock code, I'll show that later. And we can also turn on an alert for a loud noise to play when there's this t much time left. And we can also clean the oven or cool after the cooking, which means like it'll cool down the food after it's done cooking. So I can stop the oven by clicking this again. We can set a lock code now, and we can set it to 2, 1, 3, right? And now when we use the oven, we actually have to input that code in order for it to work. So if we get it wrong, it won't start. If we try it again, we got it. So it starts. We can also clean the oven, which means that we just set it to a very high temperature, 750 degrees Fahrenheit for 5 minutes until it's done. And then we can also cool the oven after cooking, so if we cook for two seconds, it will cool it down after we are done cooking. And right here, see it's cooling down now. So you have to wait three minutes and your food will be done. And that's my project, thank you.